You've heard the term dress for success. It's something you really need to think about if you're in the market for a new job. Absolutely. So today we've asked our staffing expert at On Staff USA to come in and give us some very helpful hints. Emily Turner is back with us. Okay, so let's put it out there. Some of this is going to seem like common sense to some people, but you know the industry. You've seen everything. What are your recommendations and why? <clears throat> I guess first. Well, my best recommendation is dress conservative, um, mm -hmm. conservatively. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dress for the position that you're interviewing for. Um, you know, don't wear jeans. That's the best hint I can give someone. Um, take a shower in the morning before you get really? out. Really? Yeah. You really? Tell people. <laughs> we do have to tell people that. I mean, it sounds very simple and basic, but. Sometimes, I guess, people's moms just did not teach them that. You know, and it's interesting because you, you kind of think that some of this stuff would be what somebody would just typically do in the course of everyday life. But, you know, like you said, different people have different life experiences. Exactly. And so these are just what you have to do now. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So what we're trying to do often is make a good impression. And there is another saying, too, besides dress for success, is you only have one shot to make a first impression. How true is that? Do you think that employers really size people up the first time they see them? Within the first three seconds. Three as seconds. soon as you walk through the door, they're like sizing little you up instant and things sure about that. Being clean cut or whether your clothes are clean or wrinkled, things like that? Exactly. Yep, you want to make sure that you're not wrinkled, that you're put together, your shirt's tucked in, that your hair's in place. Everything looks Top notch. Okay, what about things like piercings and tattoos? Yeah, they're really big, really mm -hmm. popular. These yeah. days. They are definitely popular. I would cover all tattoos. Okay. And any facial um, piercings, you know, in your lip, your nose, uh, the excessive ear piercings, take out. Okay. Make it very basic. Okay. Do you hear a lot of feedback from the people that are seeking to hire? about, you know, the people that come in? Are they saying they're looking for something in particular as far as appearance is concerned or skills or attitude even? Because often, sometimes, the clothes that we wear is a reflection of attitude, of attitude. and how much we want a job. And You know, when a client calls in a job order, they will typically say we're looking for somebody that um, is outgoing, is conservative, that kind of thing. So when we um, have an applicant in front of us, we will say to them, you need to dress conservatively for this. And then we will give them a recommendation. We recommend for the interview that you dress in khaki pants with a nice blouse tucked in and a jacket to wear over that. Wear closed-toed shoes for the interview. We will tell them exactly what the recommendation is for the interview. Mm -hmm. And it, it seems like, too, that maybe there are some resources. People can do a little checking around of their own. I, I mean, even maybe go to a company's website and sort of figure out what the culture might be? You bet. That would be another recommendation that we always tell um, the applicant. Go to the website, check out what the company environment is. Typically a company will have company bios of the executive staff. Um, look at what they're wearing. Another um, um, idea is that they might have company photos from parties, um, like a company picnic or what have you, and you can see what um, individuals are wearing. Mm -hmm. And then mirror that when you go in for the in, um, interview. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in my own experience, I've sometimes been a little bit like, well, I don't know what they're going to expect. Are they going to expect me to be very dressed up? Are they going to expect it to be a little bit more casual? So if people have doubts about going into the situation, is there always is a really safe way to go in. Better to be overdressed than underdressed. Great rule. Yeah. Great wood for people to keep in mind. And if you're applying for a job that maybe you know eventually <coughs> you'll be wearing a uniform for the job, if you get it, you can never go wrong with those khaki pants. Never. So again, khaki styled pants, a polo styled um, shirt, always closed toed shoes. Um, and comfortable shoes. You know, if you're going for an industrial style position, um, you might take a tour of the plant. So you don't want to be in three inch heels and expect to take a tour and then at the end of the tour you're out of breath and your legs are hurting because that could also send the wrong message to the um, manager mm -hmm. that, oh my goodness, this person cannot keep up. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you're comfortable so that you can get through the tour. 
So just another thing to think about, wear comfortable um, shoes. Fantastic. The other thing is safety equipment. If you're applying for an industrial position, take a pair of safety glasses. You know, if, if you know ahead of time that that's the type of position that you're applying for, take that type of equipment. So Emily, you obviously represent On Staff USA, and you know people are hiring right now. So if you're seeing this and looking for an opportunity, <laughs> what should people do? Um, apply with us at OnStaffUSA.com, and um, all they'll need to do is either submit their resume mm -hmm. or apply, um, apply at the Apply Here and um, we'll review their information and see what we can do for them. Great. Fantastic. Well, thanks for joining us, and I know you also represent the needs of employers who may be looking for employees as well. You're a great resource, a great expert. Thanks for being here with us today. Thanks yeah. for having me. We'll be right back. Are you West?